Hello. So I'm Dr. Harshavardhan here and today we'll see how to measure amniotic fluid volume. What is amniotic fluid? The amniotic fluid is the protective liquid contained by the amniotic sac. This fluid serves as a cushion for the growing fetus but also serves to facilitate the exchange of nutrients, water and biochemical products between mother and fetus. So how do we measure this? How do we measure this amniotic fluid volume? So there are various methods proposed but the two commonest used methods are single largest pocket or the deepest vertical pocket method and the amniotic fluid index. Deepest vertical pocket method. The deepest vertical pocket depth is considered a reliable method for assessing amniotic fluid volume on ultrasound. It is performed by assessing a pocket of maximal depth of amniotic fluid which is free of an umbilical cord and fetal paths. The usually accepted values are less than 2 cm which is indicative of oligohydromnios which is reduced liquor volume, 2 to 8 cm being the normal range and more than 8 cm is indicative of polyhydromnios. The second way, amniotic fluid index. The uterus is divided into four imaginary quadrants with the linea nigra and a mediolateral line running through the umbilicus acting as the vertical and the horizontal axis respectively. The deepest pocket devoid of an umbilical cord and fetal paths is measured in the vertical dimension. Measurement of the four pockets is in centimeters. The sum of all the four quadrant measurements is the AFI. Normal AFI values ranges from 5 to 25 centimeters. In the schematic diagrams, we show how we are dividing the uterus into four imaginary quadrants. So the vertical line drawn through the midline and another horizontal line is drawn through the level of umbilicus divides the uterus into four quadrants. The right sided image shows the measurement technique for AFI. So when we place the probe the transducer should be held perpendicular to the floor which will give correct measurement. If the probe is or the transducer is held in angulation or if it is not held perpendicular to the floor there might be overestimation of the AFI. If too much pressure is given, it can cause underestimation of the AFI. This is another schematic diagram showing how the uh, uterus is divided into four quadrants. And the correct way of measuring the amniotic fluid or the largest pockets are through perpendicular measurement. The transducer is to be placed parallel to the floor. Let me repeat it. The probe should be held perpendicular to the floor while the footplate of the probe should be parallel to the floor. The normal range for amniotic fluid volumes varies with gestational age. Typical values include AFI between 5 to 25 cm. AFI less than 5 cm is considered to be oligohydromnios. AFI more than 25 centimeter it con is considered to be polyhydromnios. Values changes with age. On the right side there is a chart representing amniotic fluid with respect to gestational age. The fifth percentile for gestational age is most often taken as the cutoff value and this is usually around 7 cm for second and third trimester pregnancies. An AFI of 5 cm is two standard deviation from the mean. There are various studies comparing the amniotic fluid index with the single deepest vertical pocket measurement. In this article by Naban et al, the single, the authors conclude that the single deepest vertical pocket method in the assessment of amniotic fluid volume during fetal surveillance 
seems to be a better choice since the use of amniotic fluid index increases the rate of diagnosis of oligohydramnios and the rate of induction of labor without improvement in peripartum outcomes. A systematic review of the diagnostic accuracy of both methods in detecting decreased amniotic fluid volume is required. Another article by K. et al. also suggests that the single deepest vertical pocket method is a favorable method to estimate the amniotic fluid volume. To summarize, we have the deepest vertical pocket method and the amniotic fluid index measurement to measure the amniotic fluid volume. In the single largest pocket or the deepest vertical pocket method, 2 to 8 centimeters is normal range. However, in some countries, up to 10 centimeter is taken as normal. And regarding amniotic fluid index, we are dividing the uterus into four quadrants. And in each quadrant, a, single, a vertical pocket, which is the largest, is measured. And all the four quadrants measurements are added, which forms the amniotic fluid index. And remember to hold the probe perpendicular to the floor. Thank you for listening to the video and subscribe to our channel for listening to more videos.